all right and here we go we're looking at the menus right now and you can see I'm setting up everything under the GeForce experience application I'm letting letting that take care of what it says my system can do um, but on the overclocking side of things I bumped it up to four point my CPU up to 4.5 gigahertz and my GPU I put plus 800 on memory core and plus 30 on core clock using MSI afterburner now this took a little bit of trial and error but it does I, I could do tutorials or watch tutorials on blue in the face and you still have a little bit of trial and error in knowing what works best for your system but these are the stable rates that I was able to achieve with my system and as you can see this is absolutely fluid amazing I actually before I overclocked and got my second GTX 670 I was not able to achieve that this kind of fidelity in this game like I just was not able to get that um, especially with that first level of this game which is kind of notorious for being the system breaker in a way um, it still ran pretty fluidly I also am getting about 60 frames per second solid through this it drops to about 45 in some spots but I've never seen it drop to 30 yet with these current settings and GeForce experience is really awesome because it helps you determine uh, what your system can really do at that current time and uh, honestly between being able to update my drivers automatically and all of that it has been heaven sent I really really love that program um, what I am going to do is I'm going to make a second video that will show everything maxed out just completely done with the same overclock settings to see what my frames per second were there but my my mins were about 45 and my highs were about 60 you know and in between I, I stay between you know 56 and 60 almost the whole time through this video shooting even with fraps running and everything so this is pretty amazing um, so I would I would definitely suggest if you have a good CPU and motherboard where you can overclock and good GPU I would do it um, watch other tutorials but at the same time you know feel free to experiment do just use small increments no matter what you're using I've used MSI afterburner I've also used the EVGA precision but the uh, afterburner tends to be better have to get around the kill zone first but this is uh, just a brief look at crisis 3 Sell are closing in. There's no time to go around. 